What if I told you they discovered a new species? No. What if I told you they discovered two new species? I'd be I'd be very What if I told you, Peter, <laughs> that they discovered four new species of octopus? I would be I would be shocked and appalled. True story. <laughs> Off the coast of Costa Rica, the Schmidt Ocean Institute uh, discovered at least Four new deep sea octopus species. Wow, deep, deep sea. sea. Okay. Yeah. So late last year, there were expeditions conducted to sea mounts off the Pacific coast okay. looking for new life and new types of species. And they found octopus nurseries near hydrothermal vents. Oh, wow. So further contributing to your idea that they're aliens. I was going to say. Now there are octopus relying on hydrothermal energy. Bro, are so you is that, kidding is me? Is that like the where they're like eating the methane gas and that exactly. stuff. Exactly. No, they, I don't they think they breathe it, right? Uh, no, mm -hmm. neither. They don't. They don't so, okay. So, until very recently, we thought that all life on Earth had to be tied to the sun. Like the sun created the energy that all life relied on. Sure. 1996, I want to say, we discovered and figured out that hydrothermal vents can generate life without the sun. So, animals can live completely devoid of, of sunlight energy and sunlight radiation feeding and living off of hydrothermal vents. Their entire ecosystems wow. down there completely removed from the sun. Yeah. So all that is to say, the hydrothermal energy, much like the sun, can be used, utilized multiple ways. Okay. So certain organisms can use it to create, create coral and grow and spawn. That then creates a food system, you know, like the, the spawning corals create food for small things like crabs. Sure. Crabs create food for octopus. So just very much so like the sun, you're like, oh, are they eating the sun? Well, not really, but kind of. <laughs> you know what I mean? Plants are eating sun energy is a way to look at it. Sure, yeah. Sort of the same thing. So deep down in these hydrothermal vents, meaning underwater volcanoes, basically, there are entire ecosystems. And scientists just discovered four new species of octopus down there. That's uh, wild. Is there anything interesting about what they do? Like, are these octopus cool? Do we? Yeah. Do we know what they're using the thermal vents for? Well, what's what's cool about it is because they're in such deep sea conditions, mm -hmm. uh -huh. there's no change in seasonality, right? So up here, everything changes. That doesn't matter if you live at the equator or right. the top of Mount Everest. Everything changes seasonally. Mm -hmm. This is like a constant state down there, right? Because the water's so deep and so dark, the temperature doesn't change, pressure doesn't change. So these animals are believed to be active year-round, um, and they're, you know, they're observed using these hydrothermal springs mm -hmm. as the foundation of their ecosystem. So really cool. It's a warming sea floor. It allows them to lay eggs. It allows them to, you know, just do everything. And one of them, called the Dorado octopus, was found brooding its eggs by the hydrothermal vent. So what? using it like a megapode bird would use a volcano to warm its eggs, it sounds like this Dorado octopus was actually using the heat energy from the hydrothermal vent to incubate its eggs. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, they're obviously. They, Look at they, this. Look at these guys. They're the most adaptable aliens on so, Earth. So, what is? You said this was found at, at a sea mount. What do you know? What a sea mount is? Yeah, it's an underwater volcano, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Look at this. Wow. There's so they the actually eggs. have photos of these little little octopus. They're adorable, dude. Cool. Look at the picture right there. That looks like the Mars attacks. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it was based on that. Clearly, oh, there we they're go. They're incredible. This so, octopus based its its form on the movie Mars. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, look at absolutely. that. And, and of course, it looks like it's glowing here. Is that just because they've lit it up with a light? Probably. I don't know the answer to that. But, but you know, a lot of wild. creatures down that deep do glow. They, yeah. they, they biofluoresce. So it's got to be so cold because even the water that's coming out of but the hydrothermal vents, 54 degrees. It's not warm. Wow. No, but it. compared to, cold. you know, right above freezing like the rest of it, right. that yeah. feels like the tropics. But <laughs> right. look at this picture of these brooding mother octopi curled up facing their suckers outwards in defensive posture to protect their brooding eggs. So if you think of that, that's basically an inside-out octopus, right? They've yeah. gone inside-out, yeah. like their head's inside of this, and they're defending their clutches of eggs lying on this warm volcano. Does it say Absolutely what the depth incredible. is, Kyle, in this article? Uh, 3,000 meters. Wow. It's pretty deep. What is that in feet? 10,500 feet. Damn, that is crazy. That's pretty deep. Yeesh. That's so that's like <laughs> two miles, basically, or a little less, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's wild, that's, man. Yeah. Exactly. Isn't that crazy incredible so these guys and this is these are four new species that have never been known to man before this right it's because man's not spending a lot of time 
two miles beneath the surface of the ocean. From a sea At volcano. an underwater volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Although that is we where I'd spend more, my... We should do more of that. That is where I'd spend my time if I was down there. It's kind of interesting here. It says that uh, by brooding near the hydrothermal vents, because it's warmer there, it, it's a shorter incubation period. Sure. Ah. Which gives it a better chance of survival. Well, everything happens slower in the cold. Sure. Right? It's just right. a fact. So it, by increasing your rate of... Your hatch rate and increasing your... your uh, time to become a baby versus saying it's being an egg, you increase your likelihood of survivability. 